Hi, this is Mrs. Nelson. We're going to continue our place value understanding by looking at uh, multiplying by multiples of 10. So multiplying by 10, 100, 1000, etc. So the objective says, I can recognize place value patterns when multiplying by multiples of 10. Show 3 times 6 using place value disks. So another way of saying 3 times 6 is 3 groups of 6 ones. So I'm going to show 3 groups of 6 ones. Here's one group of 6 ones. Here's a second group of six ones and a third group of six ones. So I have three groups of six ones. You'll notice I have an array that's three times six. So I have three groups of six ones. So if I count by sixes, I have six, 12, 18 ones. So three times six is 18 ones. Or another way of writing that is three times six is 18. Okay, now we're going to do the same thing, except this time you'll notice, instead of 3 times 6, we have 3 times 60. 60 is 10 times bigger than 6. So another way of thinking about 60 is to call it 6 tens. So I'm going to do the same thing before, except for this time I'm going to do 3 groups of 6 tens. Notice I have moved to the tens column instead. So here's one group of 6 tens a second group of six tens, and a third group of six tens. So I have three groups of six tens. Three groups of six tens. So if I count by sixes again, six, twelve, eighteen. Note I could also count by threes. Three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen, eighteen, and I would get the same result. So I have three groups of, of six tens, that's eighteen tens total. Another way of writing that is to write the 18, and I have 0, 1, so I put a 0 in the 1's place. You'll notice that before I had 3 times 6 is 18, 60 being 10 times bigger, 3 times 60, my answer is still 18, except it's 10 times bigger. Okay, we're going to do the same thing again. We're going to do 3 times 6, but not 3 times 6, but 3 times 6 hundreds. So again, 600 is the same thing as 6 hundreds, so I need three groups of 6 hundreds. So there's one group of 6 hundreds, two groups of 6 hundreds, three groups of 6 hundreds. Again, I have an array. I have three groups that are 6 in each group. So three groups of 6. 3 times 6 is 18. So 3 times 6 hundreds is 18 hundreds. So I have 18 still as my answer. I have no tens and no ones. So six, three times 600 is 1800 or 1800. So again, notice three times six is 18. When I multiplied by six, that's a hundred times bigger. My answer is still 18, but it's a hundred times bigger. Three times 60, 60 was 10 times bigger than six. So my answer is just 10 times bigger than three times six. You'll notice that each time I had three groups of six, but I had three groups of six in the ones place, three groups of six in the tens place, and three groups of six in the hundreds place. So the multiplication didn't change, it was just our place value that changed because our uh, value got 10 times or 100 times bigger with the multiplication. Again, our objective says I could recognize place value patterns when multiplying by multiples of 10. So I can take that same number when I times it by 10. I'm just moving it one place value larger, and I have a zero in the ones place instead. When I multiply by 100, I move it two place values larger. So I have the same solution, except I have zero tens and zero ones. It's 100 times bigger. Thanks for watching.